All right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the ACS team. Here to just make a quick video showing you how to uh, root using one-click root Clockwork Mod version 3.1.0.1 to give you the latest uh, Clockwork uh, from stock. So, I mean, if you're already on the purple Clockwork, then you do not need to do this because this is what it will give you just through a uh, one-click root, so you don't have to do the 3.0.2.5 orange clockwork and then flash the upgrade.zip from stock. So this is just showing you the latest way from stock to get to the latest clockwork mod. So what you're gonna first need to do is take the phone and go to settings, application, oh gosh, I'm not even showing you. Settings, applications, development, and check USB debugging, and then hit yes. And make sure that's checked. And then you're going to want to go to the link I provide in the description. Uh, big thanks to Roderick for doing this for all of us. He does great work. Thank him for this. Um, mod one click root clockwork mod version 3.1.0.1. Scroll down and right there. You're going to see download right there. Click on that. It'll download it. And then you're going to want to, it's a zip file. You're going to extract it somewhere. I extracted it to my desktop. It's just a folder. It extracts the uh, the folder to your desktop, and here it is. Clock uh, one click root CWM 3.1.0.1 ECO5. So there you go. That's how you. Uh, that's what the folder is going to look like. So double click on that folder. Now go ahead and plug your phone into your computer. Um, just like that. As you guys can see up at the top, USB connected, USB debugging connected. Um, then go ahead and go back to uh, that folder and double click on this run, the Windows batch file. Just hit run, double click on it, and then it says press any key to continue. Go ahead and press any key on your keyboard, and then there you go, let it run through this install script. If you do have phone not connected errors, um, what you're going to need to do then is try every single, well, make sure, first of all, make sure the drivers on your uh, PC are installed, then try every USB port, then try different micro USB cables. Those are the troubleshooting methods if you get phone not connected. You can also try rebooting your computer, rebooting your phone, all of those things to attempt to get this to work. And there you go, it's running through the script. And once the script is done, it will reboot your phone. There you go, it says all done. If your phone does not reboot, as you can see, my phone is rebooting. Um, phone does not reboot or root does not work correctly. Please rerun the script. So if for some reason roots not showing up then just go ahead and rerun this press any key to continue just exits out of the script and then once our phone boots up we should be now rooted and have the latest clockwork mod version 3.1.0.1 the purple clockwork so um, now that it's booted up uh, when I go to applications super user should be in my app drawer right there super user so I know I am rooted now to show you how to get into clockwork, go ahead and power off your phone. Let that power off, and once it powers down, we can boot into clockwork. Okay, now that it's powered down, we can boot into Clockwork. Whoops, to do this, good thing I got a case. Uh, to do this, we you're gonna have to press the volume down, the camera button, and the power button all at the same time, press and hold them. So press and hold all three of those at the same time. And press and hold it, I press and hold it until this, the bottom backlit key is light up, like so. And then you should be in Clockwork, there you go. Clockwork Mod Recovery version 3.1.0.1 and it's purple. So now you have the latest version of Clockwork just through a one-click script. Um, that's how you do that from stock. That would be the latest way to root and have 
Clockwork Mod Recovery. You do not, you can reboot the system and you do, it will not convert your file system at all. Um, you can flash Syndicate ROM with this method um, just because Syndicate auto converts your file system to ext4. So this would be the latest way to, to, to root your phone and also if you just want to use it for Wi-Fi tether or to delete uh, system apps, this would be the latest way to do that as well. Other than that, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask, uh, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching.